Tonight, undercover agents with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission are going to be out there in full force. They're making sure bars and restaurants are following COVID-19 guidelines. And this comes after nearly 20 bars and restaurants across the state, including four in the Austin area, all shut down. The TABC says COVID-19 health measures weren't being followed. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez checked in with one of those bar managers and explains what's next here. Lights off, doors shut. That's what bar goers will see if they swing by Whiskey Tango Foxtrot Ice House this weekend. It's one of the four bars TABC suspended liquor licenses for 30 days. We felt extremely disappointed to find out when he left our bar at 12.08 a.m. and <laughs> KXAN reported at 7.30, 7.45 a.m that our license was suspended. We were dumbfounded. We were like, how, how did they first find out before we did? The bar's operations manager, Austin Talley, filed an appeal on Monday and is waiting on a hearing date. The agency has 10 days to set it up. Talley says he's confused as to why he received a violation after he claims an agent told him in person Friday night he was not in violation of COVID-19 guidelines. But TABC says that is not the case. This operation involves undercover teams and undercover teams do not uh, make contact with business owners. Because this is a 30 day suspension as opposed to kind of a slap on the wrist, we want to be certain that we have we have the evidence that we need to to show a true violation. Then TABC officials say they'll contact the business the next day. Tally says the photos the TABC agent took at the entrance of the bar do not reflect what the crowd inside looked like that night, where he says social distancing was practiced. We'll see how the hearing goes. You know, we don't want TABC to be crucified. Let's just have a partnership. TABC says hearings are automatically granted for each business. Now a judge can affirm, modify, or completely dismiss a suspension order. If a business owner or the agency do not agree with the ruling, they can appeal that decision to a state district court. Now doing the math, Telly tells us if they have to remain closed for the next 30 days, that could cost them up to half a million dollars in revenue. Back to you. All right, thanks, Candy. During the first weekend of Operation Safe Open, TABC agents visited 600 businesses across the state. They only found 17 bars and restaurants that were violating COVID-19 guidelines. The operation kicked off after the agency spent nearly six weeks in outreach efforts educating businesses. Agency leaders are asking people who have concerns to email them or you can call the number there on your screen. We have all of this information for you at KXAN.com.